in this video, I want to give you everything you need to know to be able to navigate the lingo within a band in the, in the blues style. So the first thing you'll have to know is the number system. So if you're not familiar with that, um, it's pretty easy. We have lessons on the site about this, but I'll give you a quick overview here. If everything is based on the major scale, the do, re, mi, when we explain things at least, so here's the C major scale. Every one of those notes has a chord associated with it going every other note of the scale. There's the first note of the scale with the other two on top, all right? That's the first chord. Here's the second chord, the third chord, the fourth chord, the fifth chord, the sixth chord, and the seventh chord. There's seven possible chords within a key. So, the main three, though, that you have to know to be able to navigate the blues is the first chord, of course, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord. You'll hear musicians speak of one, four, five. Sitting with us, it's easy. It's just one, four, five. That's the lingo. That means it's going to be the first chord, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord of whatever that key is. There was a key of C, so it's C, D, E, F, and G. C, F, and G goes together in countless th thousands of songs, all right? Um, the blues is exactly this, too. The standard blues format is a 12-bar long pattern. You need to have that memorized as well. It's not hard. It's only three chords, but in a very particular order. Matter of fact, I have a chart available. I'll show it to you here. This is what we'll go over here. 12 bars, can you see? One chord, an optional four chord, one chord, one chord, four chord, four chord. Each one of these is a measure. One chord, one chord, five, four, one, and an optional five. Now I say optional on these things. This is the terms you need to know. On a gig, the band leader might go, it might not be no rehearsal, the band leader might go, okay, key of E with a quick change. What's a quick change? Quick change is the optional four chord in the second bar. Otherwise, it goes a long change, one, 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 one. But otherwise, one, four, one, one. That's an option some bands, some songs take. You have to have that kind of figured out ahead of time. Um, so if the band leader says, in the key of E, you need to know what those three chords are. E, G, A, B. E, A, and B. One, four, and five. So you need to know that key, the one, four, and five, and be able to fit it to this pattern. And if they say it's a quick change, it means in the second bar it's going to be an A chord. See how it works? It's just simple math, really. The other terms you'll need to know is um, if they say from the five. This means it's an intro that's going to start from the five chord. Five, four, one, and five. And then the singer comes into the top today. That's how it works. So a band leader could say any key. Okay, guys, it's in the key, or girls, it's in the key of D. From the five, with a quick change. I mean, he's going to take those, those start there, and they're going to take that chord in the second bar. The only other term you really need to know uh, to play the blues, to be able to sit in with a band, is the word turnaround. The turnaround is really the last couple bars, the bars 11 and 12 of the 12-bar blues form. Um, and there's many, many variations that different bands and different songs do in this. Um, in this. If it's jazzy, you might put some fancier chords, but either way, it turns it around, loops it around back to the top. Makes it easy. The five chord is, if you've classically trained, is the dominant chord. It's the strongest second last chord you can have. Um, five, here's our one, four, five. Five ways wants to lead back to one. So it's a great second last chord because it makes sure when we put that five chord in there, it, we, where everybody's positive where that beginning is. If you do it without that, it's actually so uncommon that we probably the band would have to explain it first. Like, don't do a turnaround chord. One chord, one chord, one chord, one chord. So it's, it's kind of confusing when you do really simple blues that it could actually be six bars at the one, two at the end, and four more at the beginning if it's a long change. So, but that is so uncommon that bands usually stop to explain that. Like, keep it super simple, you know. Um, but if you know this 12-bar, common 12-bar format, and you know those few terms, again, the turnaround can be anything. And here we got the simplest one with just a five chord there. Um, it could be other things, depending on the tempo. Sometimes when it's a slower blues, they put a few extra chords in there. Um, like on You Shook Me for Led Zeppelin. They have one, four, one, five, two, two beats each. So there's different variations that happen. But I myself played in a professional blues band as a bassist for a year and a half, not having to know any more than that and every one of the keys. So now you go, oh my God, every one of the keys, this is impossible. No, there's only 15 keys and three of them are duplicates. So there really is 12 keys, but you ought to know all 15. 
I have another chart on the side here. Um, is up to from zero sharps and flats to uh, to up to seven sharps or seven flats. That's that's 14 plus the, the neutral key C. There's 15 possible keys. If you know all 15, it's not a lot to learn, and most of those will never be touched. There's probably a half a dozen that are pretty common. So if you learn the ones that start with a you know natural note C D E F G and A, at least you're you're in the club. You'll know your way around one four five and and especially in the blues. So that's pretty much it. All in a nutshell, all you need to know to be able to navigate the blues. You also need to know um, the blues scale for that for that one key. Just the, you don't have to know every chord. It's helpful in more advanced ways to play. You get to that later. But if you just use the blues scale over all three chords of the one chord, so if it's in the key of C, you use C blues scale to jam. If it's in the key of F, you use F blues scale to jam. So um, that's pretty much it. I played for a year and a half not knowing, after having to know any more than that. Now, I did know more than that, of course, but I didn't have to. And it was a great teaching moment for me to learn. Like, oh, yeah, this is still really pretty simple for folks to learn. So one, four, five. If you start memorizing them three at a time um, and uh, know the, the terms, the fast four is, this, is the four chord in the second bar. From the five is the introduction starting from the fourth last bar. And um, the turnaround, what a turnaround is. Because uh, a leader might go, I'm going to just blow on the harmonica and come in with me at the turnaround. It means the drums, and they're at the top, the last measure or two to kind of fill in behind. So those are the terms. So you can play all you need to know and be able to sit in and sound like and feel like you know what you're doing. Because now you do. So hope that helps. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.